she is. And there's a switch box. Now I did test the coil. The resistance did come in kind of low. And I was online, asked them the question of uh, outboard enthusiasts, if you guys are ever looking them up. Tons of, uh, tons of smart people on there. And they, they definitely know their stuff. But uh, they said that these are invincible. And uh, I believe them. Um, so I opened the distributor. Of course, I don't know what a bad trigger looks like, but everything is whistle clean on the inside of this. I mean, there's no corrosion inside the cab, nothing like that. And then, of course, I tested the switch box, and the switch came bad, uh, back bad. So what I'm going to do is uh, retrofit it with a uh, 1978 switch box. Now, keep in mind, this is a 66, a 67. So, and then we're going to see what happens, see if it fires up. All right, so I got the uh, other switch box retrofitted that was in the test. I can put a link for that in the uh, description, but I know it looks like crap, but it works. So really at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So now I just got to see, connect the ignition coil. I just ran a new choke line because that was not connected. So now it should, should work. All right, so let me plug the coil back in. I'll hook a battery up and uh, we're going to make it talk. Alright, fire in the hole. Maybe not. Yeah, so while it's prominent there, I'm looking at the the Venturis, I don't know if you can see them. I don't really see any fuel beating up out of all three of them. I don't see any fuel at all, even though I'm pumping the guts out of this bulb. All right, we're gonna get in here and see where this fuel's going. All right, so with these Venturis, if you hit that little nozzle with air, fuel should come up through the main right there. That's if there's fuel in there. Usually it'll just, the, the pressure, push down, push the fuel up, and I'm getting nothing. I'm spraying it. I don't even see, usually you just drip a little bit of fuel, right? Yep, I don't see nothing, so I'm gonna go over here, and I guess work my way in. Now this uh, Tiger block has two fuel pumps. Uh, the main fuel line comes in right here, and this goes up to here, this goes up to here, and then it intravenously feeds all the three carburetors. Yeah, this one goes to the bottom, so this one cycles the fuel down. So I'm gonna start with the bottom one right here. All right, so this is the main fuel line right here. Uh, I actually pumped fuel through it, but it's not clogged at all. So the main input comes in here, then the fuel comes out here. This goes to the bottom carb, and then this tube here comes out of the bottom and goes to the top fuel pump. So I'm just trying to make sure all the lines are clear here before I start digging into those things right there. All right, so I pumped fuel. I got nothing out of this hose, which is the uh, the feed from the bottom carburetor. Now I'm looking at the pump going into the second pump. So the fuel pump, first one pumps fuel into the second pump. So now I'm going to squeeze the primer bulb, see what happens. Okay. Yeah, well, it's definitely not that. All right, well. Let's go up to this one then. All right, so now I still have the feet disconnected, but now I'm pumping fuel from this fuel pump up into this fuel pump. So I reconnected this. Now we're just trying to make sure fuel's coming out of here. That would clear both of the fuel pumps and the clog would not be in there. So at this point, it would either be in the, the feed to the primary top carburetor as it feeds down or somewhere in the carburetors. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like this one's gonna have to be rebuilt. Uh, that's where the fuel jam is. All right, well, we're gonna open her up and see what's going on. I'm gonna try to tap this off. Oh, well, yeah. What do you guys think? I think that might be the problem. I'm not convinced. Let's dig deeper. No, I'm just kidding. That is definitely definitely 100 percent the problem this is going to have to be rebuilt with all new valves and definitely a new uh definitely a new diaphragm mm. 
awful. All right, so I got the new fuel pump installed. I got all the lines back together. It seemed like the fuel is moving a little bit better. Let me see here. I don't know, I'm still not seeing any fuel in the Venturi's here. I hit it with some compressed air and nothing is coming out. So, I'm gonna have to open her up. All right, let's get to it. Man, I don't have this bad feeling that I'm gonna find something I don't like. All right, so now I got the faceplate loosened. All right, so usually when you have the filter here, pre-carb, this one always gets crapped on first. This one always builds up first before it trickles down to there and trickles down to there. So I'm gonna unscrew this and we're gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna screw this and then pump some fuel, see if fuel is actually coming through here. But something tells me there's something under here that I'm not gonna like, but let's take a look. All right, well, I definitely had the outcome pictured differently in my head, but it looks like the fuel inlets are pretty much all corroded or jammed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the right thing and uh, pull these carbs and uh, rebuild them, and uh, then we'll make it talk. All right, stay tuned. Carbs are completely pulled, so I'm going to go ahead and soak them, soak them overnight, and then uh and we built them with all new gaskets and uh, this thing should be running just like it's brand new. Yeah, just look inside. Probably gonna redo some of these wires here. I already redid the choke wire, but I don't know. We'll see. And these right here, I don't know if you can see that or not, they're completely, completely clogged. There's nothing getting through there. Yeah, the first one, this is the second one like this, so, hmm. Yeah, the carbs are pretty pretty messed up. A lot of dirt, sand, grime, tangs are off. Definitely set too low. Uh, you hate to see that. This is me trying to figure out which gasket to use. I figured it out. And here's the finished product. Beautiful. All right, so we got everything back together. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's the uh, carb right there. Let me see if you zoom in. Yeah, you can actually see the fuel in the Venturi's. So that is definitely a good sign. Get to the top. Yep, see it right there? Yep. Actually right, looks good. Right, we got great compression. Got spark on all six cylinders. Uh, redid the harness because some of the wires were frayed, which is expected. So, all right, well, I'm gonna turn the water on and uh, we'll make a talk, see what's going on. All right, well, we have live action. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> all right so we got no water from the, the tail tail here so i'm gonna investigate that go ahead maybe pull this lower unit stick a new impeller in there but yeah she definitely sounds great but i'd feel more comfortable if she was spitting out some water so i'm gonna go ahead and get on that and hopefully i can end this video all right live action number two see what's going on